California sheriff and their deputies are now modern-day highway robbers, using the federal system and civil asset forfeiture to steal millions from legal marijuana businesses. In just two stops, they seized a million dollars, sent it up and the case to the Fed so that the Feds can kick back 80% down to the county. Never mind the fact that these businesses are complying with state law, marijuana is legal in California, and all these amount to illegal search and seizures under the Fourth Amendment. The judge and civil asset forfeiture is saying that the burden of proof is on the marijuana company to demonstrate that they were strictly complying with the law. We are at the point with civil asset forfeiture of literal highway robbery. And this judge and the entire process demonstrates what bullshit it is. Because it's not innocent until proven guilty. It's you're guilty until you show us that you're innocent. End civil asset forfeiture. Okay, so I love this because this TikToker is a libertarian and it really demonstrates how libertarians can have some of the correct core conclusions but without the real material analysis of why things are the way they are. See, we need to understand that the police department exists for a reason. The entire purpose of a police department is to maintain the social order, whatever that social order is. Now in the United States of America, it's pretty simple. It means capitalists are rich and marginalized people are marginalized. So what you see police doing is you see police over-policing black communities, committing lots of acts of violence against people of color. You see them enforcing property laws, especially when it comes to things like retail theft and stuff like that. But what you don't see is you don't see police officers kicking down the doors with SWAT teams whenever somebody's doing wage theft. You don't see these SWAT teams kicking down the doors of corporate offices whenever a giant business is committing fraud. That's what you don't see. And there's a reason for that. It is because the police department exists to maintain a social order and the culture within police departments is very much to that end. Now, the reason why police departments around the country and especially in California feel a little bit more comfortable going after capitalists who are simply in the business of producing cannabis is because there is tension among the capitalist class about who should be the dominant player. It turns out that the alcohol industry and the tobacco industry are both in competition with the cannabis industry. Industry. And that competition means that institutions like the police, for example, don't really know which capitalists to side with, which is why they're so willing to jump in and do the civil asset forfeiture, because there's another game in this, and that is the institutional interests of these police departments. They, of course, would like to have money. As institutions, they would like to have money for themselves so they can continue their institution and grow. And so, if they see an up-and-coming capitalist that isn't fully in the circle of acceptable capitalists yet, and they have this tool called civil asset forfeiture, then of course they're going to be incentivized to use that civil asset forfeiture to go after those up-and-coming capitalists and not really have to worry about all the other industries saying, hey, you're not playing the social role that you're supposed to, which is why they feel so comfortable do using civil asset forfeiture against these cannabis companies in California. This is because both the politicians and the police departments by and large work for the wealthy capitalists that are donors to the campaigns of these politicians. So while this libertarian is right that civil asset forfeiture is bad and should be taken away as a tool, what this libertarian is probably missing is the underlying reality that capitalism is the reason why police have the civil asset forfeiture tool. The reason why capitalists want police to have civil asset forfeiture as a tool at their disposal is to stop the wrong people from getting access to capital and threatening their system. This is Ben Corolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can catch my show Galaxy Brain on the Young Turks Twitch channel every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to stay up to date with my content, you can follow me at Benjamin Corolla on Twitter. And for those of you that might be wondering or have noticed, my pronouns are in fact she, her.